All right, so I wanted to make a real short video about how to properly store your auger and how to fix hydro lock if you don't store it correctly. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick over here. All right, so this is basically how you wanna store your auger long term. Um, it's got a little sticker on here that says store with this end up. You've got your propane on the bottom here. That's a good way to remember how to do it if the sticker falls off. But yeah, if you don't store it this way, um, you're probably gonna run into some issues. Now, in the manual, it does say you can store it vertically, but I know from experience that that just wasn't supposed to be included because I did that and that's how I ran into hydro lock. So if you're watching this and it's too late, I'm gonna show you guys right now how to fix hydro lock, all right? So if your auger is feeling like when you're trying to pull this to start it, it just won't even budge, it's because you stored it incorrectly and some oil leaked into the cylinder and it's bogging it up in here, causing it to kind of be like that. So basically all you're going to need is a little Phillips head and a 5 8 socket. And you're going to want to start by taking this off right here. Pull this out, it just pops right off. I'll show you guys real quick closer just so you can see. That's your spark plug right there. And you're gonna wanna take your 5 8 socket. So once you got your spark plug pulled out, if you've got oil in your cylinder, you'll probably notice this has some, some of your oil residue on it. Mine doesn't because mine's not messed up right now. I'm just doing this for video purposes, but you basically just want to clean off the oil on your spark plug. And then once you've got it out and cleaned off, you can set it aside for a second. And you're gonna want to pull your pull cord a few times to turn over the engine and that's gonna clear out all the oil that's in your cylinder. And all that resistance should be gone if this is your problem. Once you've done that, you can put your spark plug back in. Make sure it's nice and tight, not too tight. You put this, put this back on right here. And you'll just give it a practice start. 